Hi! Welcome to my new wall. Ah, ah. Oh, I guess it's kind of tilted. Looks kind of strange, doesn't it? Better? So look under here. This one here has finally fixed her wall. This is an easy and cheap way to update your wall. This all costed me under $40, so I hope you guys enjoy. And guess who killed another cactus? I can't be trusted. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will talk to you later. Bye! All of the frames I picked up were from Valley Village. I then spray painted them white, which is not recommended. It is so much quicker just to paint them, seriously. The floating shelves I got from Walmart for $14 each, and I installed them myself, surprisingly successfully and surprisingly level. Arrange your frames on the ground first to understand the layout of your gallery wall. Then I penciled in the frames to finalize and tapped in nails to hang it. That's it for my wall. Let me walk you through my pieces. This string art as well as this floral shadow box is a DIY, so you can click on the link below if you want to make your own. This picture of water is just beautiful. There's no other reason why I hung it up. I found this 70s National Geographic photo and I've kept it for a long time until finally framing it and it totally motivates me to kick ass. These are some of my favorite books held by a piece from Big Nickel Mine. Uh, this pumpkin raku pot I made in high school and I think it's super cute. I found this photo and I think my dad took this photo but it's just incredibly free and I really fell in love with it. And then there's my disappointing dead cactus number two so that's it for my wall i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and i will talk to you later bye